Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to combine GIFs. So let's say you have two GIFs and you want to take those two GIFs and merge them into one single GIF. And it doesn't matter what dimensions they have, it doesn't matter what aspect ratios they are, as long as they are both GIFs, I'm gonna show you how to combine them to make one single GIF. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is an online video editor called Veed, so you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the link's gonna be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, all you want to do is click on the new project button in the top left corner, and then this is where we're going to upload our first GIF. So I'm gonna click on the Upload Files button. We're going to select our first GIF. So I have this GIF here of me skateboarding. And as we can see, this is the 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if I click Open, as we can see, it's now imported into Veed. And then once it's imported into Veed, if I click Play, as you can see, we have my first GIF. So now to add my second GIF, all I have to do is either click this plus sign at the right of the timeline at the end of my first GIF, or I can click on the add video button in the left of the timeline. And if I click this, again, our documents will open up and this is where I'm going to select my second GIF. So as we can see this time we have a square GIF. So if I click on open, it's now also imported and it will be added to the end of my current GIF. So now if I click play, so as you can see, we now have a second GIF in here and this one by one aspect ratio GIF is now stretched to make a 16 by nine aspect ratio GIF. But let's say we want to do the opposite. We want to turn our 16 by nine aspect ratio GIF into a square one. Well, to do this, it's very simple. Under the settings tab in the left toolbar, as you can see here, we have the size section and we can click on the size drop down menu. And here we can actually choose the aspect ratio of our GIF compilation. So let's say I want to make everything square. If I click on the square aspect ratio, we now have a square video canvas. So if I click on my first clip and I place my playhead over here, as you can see, this is now square. And if I go over to my second GIF, as you can see, it's also square here. But what I want to make sure I do is click on fit to the canvas. That way the entire GIF will be square and fit in the square GIF frame. If I go back to my first clip, as we can see, now we have either end of the GIF that's been cut off because this one is originally a 16 by nine GIF. But if we want, we can reduce it so the entirety of our horizontal GIF fits within the square frame. To do this, we can either click on fit to the canvas or if you want, you can click on fill to the canvas. So as you can see, if we fit to the canvas, we have our entire horizontal GIF within the square GIF frame. Now, if you want, you can manually resize it using these resize buttons on the actual canvas and you can also rotate it as you wish. So if I want to stretch it out just like this, but it turns out I miss a bit of the beginning. So let's say I want the bit where I'm popping the skateboard. I can just click and drag and then click and drag this out to get more of me in the actual frame. So now if I click play. Okay, so this is great, but what I do want to do is actually cut off the end where I'm not actually in the frame. So I'm just gonna select the part where I want to cut and then I click on the split tool and now I'm just gonna select, right click this, hit delete, and just click and drag the first gear, or the second GIF back to the first one. So now if I click play from the beginning, as you can see, we now have two GIFs merged together to create one. Now the last thing you need to make sure you do is as we can see our video ends right here, so at 5.5 seconds. If we go into the settings tab, here we can see the duration of our video and if we just quickly click on this double edged arrow right here, the length of the GIF will adapt to the time of where the last GIF ends. And on top of this, you can also add a bunch of images and text to your GIF, but I'm going to link that in a card at the top of this video. And then once you're happy with your GIF, all you have to do is click on the export button in the top right of your screen and then Veed starts to render your GIF so your two GIFs are merged into one. And then once it's finished rendering, you can preview it and go ahead and download it as a GIF by clicking download as a GIF right here. So if I click it, as you can see, it begins to download. And that is how to combine GIFs to create one single GIF. If you have any questions, we would love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.